Wow, a different camera angle. Yeah, I know. But we got a different video today. Not a figure unboxing video, but instead, let's go over what uh, I'm going to watch for the summer 2021 season of anime. Uh, seems like a pretty fun video to do. I've seen a lot of other creators do it. So I thought I'd throw, uh, throw my hat in the rodeo, I guess, and tell you guys what I plan to watch for the summer season of anime. So let's just start off with my most anticipated anime. That time I got reincarnated as a slime, season two, part two. Yes, if you don't know, uh, slime is my favorite isekai by far. By far, I think it outclasses a lot of other isekai. Not, not putting them down or anything, but I just don't like other isekai as much as I do slime. Slime is a lot more fun. It's a lot more action packed. It's a lot more fast paced and Rimuru is an awesome character. So I recently just binged Slime Season 1 and Season 2 Part 1, and I do know that there's the uh, Slime Diaries that just finished airing uh, recently, uh, so I do need to watch that still, but I binged the first, I guess, technically two seasons within like a week or a week and a half span, and it was absolutely incredible so i'm looking forward to season two part two i have pretty high expectations for it and if it does meet those expectations i do think that slime could crack my top five anime as crazy as that sounds however aside from slime season two part two another anime that i'm looking forward to is the detective is already dead which is based on a light novel it's getting 12 episodes and it is being produced by studio ng or ng uh, they were the ones who produced Uzaki-chan, and uh, they also did Data Live 3 in 2019, which I hope that they do better than last time, because Data Live 3 was kind of disappointing. Uh, but the story follows Kimihiko Kimizuka, a young man who four years ago became the assistant of a mysterious detective known as Siesta on a hijacked airplane. Together, Kimihiko and Siesta went on a mind-boggling, globe-trotting adventure while combating a secret organization, but all of that came to an end after Siesta's death. In the present day, Kimihiko tries to return to an ordinary life as a high school student, but things are never that simple, even though the detective is already dead. So, it says that it's going to be a comedy, drama, mystery, romance, supernatural. Uh, I love romance animes, I love comedy animes, I love drama anime, so it's right up my alley. Uh, I don't mind supernatural at all, I think when it's executed well, uh, it's... It's a really solid genre. And of course, mystery, eh, I'm 50-50 on it. But it seems like it'll be a pretty fun anime. Uh, not too high expectations. I think it's good to not go into anime with super high expectations so you don't end up disappointed. I do like the character designs, uh, especially of Siesta. She looks pretty cool. But moving on from that is a manga that I've seen some people read on Twitter. Uh, it is The Case Study of Vanitas. Yes, it'll be adapted... Uh, by Bones, which Bones is one of my favorite studios, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it is a drama, mystery, and supernatural anime, uh, and the uh, synopsis says, uh, rumors revolving around the Book of Vanitas, a clockwork grimmery of dubious reputation, draw Noe, a young vampire in search of a friend's salvation, to Paris. Uh, what awaits him in the City of Flowers, however, is not long hours of treading the pavement or rifling through dusty bookshops in search of the tome, but instead his quarry comes to him in the arms of a man claiming to be a vampire doctor. Uh, so it seems pretty cool. Uh, again, not too high expectations, but looking at the trailer, it looks really good because it's Bones. So I love Bones. Uh, their animation style is absolutely great. Uh, though I haven't seen their main series, uh, My Hero Academia, they've done some great things on other series, such as Mob Psycho 100, uh, in case you haven't heard of that. So there's that. But moving on from the case study of Vanitas, I've got a little guilty pleasure of mine. It's a harem anime. And uh, it's Kanojo Mo Kanojo, or Girlfriend Girlfriend. Uh, honestly, I'm only watching it because the girls look pretty cute. Um, that's pretty much the whole draw of the series, I'm guessing. Uh, it's uh, adapted from a manga, which I haven't really uh, heard of or read. Uh, and it's being produced by Tezuka Productions, who 
produced Dororo and Adachi and Shimamura uh, in 2020. Uh, and they also produced uh, the, was it second season or first season of the quintessential quintuplets? One of those. But uh, I'm guessing it's another rent a girlfriend type thing. Uh, there are four girls, they look pretty cool. Uh, the synopsis says uh, Naoya Mukai, I'm so sorry, uh, has loved Saki Saki since grade school and when she finally accepts his feelings, he's at his happiness. But one day a cute girl named Nagisa Minase confesses to him. Uh, not wishing to choose only one over another, <laughs> Noya chooses to go out with both of them. Yeah. Uh, expectations are super low for this. Uh, honestly, I don't even know if I'll be able to finish, but I did finish Running Girlfriend, so maybe I'll be able to finish this. But the next show that I'm looking forward to is called The Aquatope on White Sand. Uh, it is being produced by PA Works, uh, and if you didn't know, K Works also produced uh, last season, or not last season, last year, The Day I Became a God, which is an anime I dropped, uh, which isn't looking good. But I will say that they also released a series in 2018 call called Irodoku, The World in Colors, and that was an absolutely beautiful anime. So hopefully this anime lives up to the production quality of that one. Uh, basically, uh, this is a comedy, drama, uh, slice of life. It says mystery and supernatural. I'm not sure where that's going to come into play, but it does say that. And according to the synopsis, uh, the anime takes place at Gama Gama Aquarium in Okinawa, an hour's bus ride from Naha. Uh, Kukuru uh, Misakino is an 18-year-old high school student who works there, and she knows about the secret of the aquarium. Sometimes you can see mysterious things. And one day she meets Fuka, standing in front of a water tank with flowing hair and a tear rolling down her cheek. Uh, Fuka has given up on her dream of becoming an idol and has run away from Tokyo to Okinawa. And I'm guessing that the two just go on an adventure, I guess, in the uh, aquarium. But moving on from that one, um, the next anime that I'll be watching is Bokutache no Remake. Uh, this is a comedy and sci-fi anime. Uh, I actually thought it was a slice of life anime, which was why I picked it up, but I guess not. But it is a comedy and sci-fi anime, and the reason I'm picking this one up uh, is because it reminds me a lot of Remake, because uh, the main character is a game developer, he goes bankrupt and loses his job, um, and then he's given the opportunity to travel back in time 10 years before he entered college similar to the main character of real life um and he's able to like reverse his life decisions uh and then the story will see him following we will see him following uh the path he chooses to take and if he can rewrite his mistakes uh that he had in the present day it's being adapted by feel who did the uh last two seasons of my teen romantic comedy snafu say what you want uh, I thought the characters looked great, even though I prefer the season one design because of how, I guess, cartoony it looks. But Feel produced that, and they also produced uh, other works, such as Suki Gakiri. So there's that. So the final thing that I'm going to be checking out in the summer 2021 season is the Kakushi Goto movie. Uh, Kakushi Goto, if you didn't know, was an anime that released in 2020 last year, uh, spring 2020. And it revolves around uh, the main character, Goto, uh, trying to keep the secret from his daughter that he is a manga artist because it's looked down upon in society, apparently. I think it's pretty dope. But he tries to keep that a secret in order to protect her. Uh, it's a really sweet anime, uh, very good slice of life, uh, one of my favorites. And this new movie is apparently going to put new scenes and different perspectives uh, to the uh, anime. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that. Uh, I don't expect too much change, but seeing new scenes, uh, seeing Hime and Kakushi together again is great. Also hearing uh, Rie Takashi and my favorite uh, voice actor Hiroshi Kamiya on the screen again is always a good thing. But those are the eight shows that I'll be watching uh, this summer. 2021. I know you guys are probably wondering, why aren't you watching uh, Dragon Maid? Uh, I haven't seen season one. Uh, so yeah, I'm not watching Dragon Maid this season, I don't think. 
I'll eventually pick it up though. It, I've, I've heard nothing but good things. It's a Kyoto animation work, so it's bound to be good. But with all that being said, those are my picks for the summer season of anime in 2021. Uh, let me know in the comments what you're gonna be watching, uh, if you have any expectations for any of the shows that uh, I listed and what you think will be the best anime of the season. I know a lot of people say it's not as packed as last season or the previous season even, uh, but I think there are gonna be a lot of hidden gems, um, not a lot of big titles, so we'll have to be, uh, we'll have to find that diamond in the rough like we did last season with shows like Vibe and uh, Moriarty the Patriot. So with all that being said, those are my picks. Uh, that's what I'll be watching. And thank you for watching the video and have a good one.